So it's uh, been a little while since I've had a chance to work on anything out here. Maybe two months ago I picked up a bundle of things off of Kijiji. Some guy had an ad posted under the mini bikes heading, so naturally I uh, swooped in and picked it up. This right here, it's um, not sure it was a Baja, looks to be a Coleman or something like that. It looks to be pretty identical to the Coleman I have, except for like the the frame is that like kind of raked chopper looking frame. It's missing some stuff too. It's missing the headlight. It's missing, you know, the the foot pedals and the rubber, rubber coating on the foot pegs. Some stuff doesn't work super great, like the twist throttle is seized up, but I I have one I can rob off of the lawn tractor. And then, yeah, it's missing the recoil. And the rear tire is pretty well flat. There's a hole in it somewhere. It just keeps deflating. But, uh, yeah, I've been collecting some parts. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get this running in the next, well, this evening. So Let's before hope. starting tonight, I uh, did sort of take a quick survey of what it needs. So I got a, an inner tube for the rear tire. A lot of recoil if should fit the I don't know Honda clone um, I don't know if this is exactly a Honda clone but it's certainly uh, similar to the power fist one so it should fit on there I got a clutch the clutch was missing got some 40 chain I have some spare parts carb it's actually the original one off the BT 200 X the fender for it and then just yeah various bits and whatnot I have here I think we can get this going. So I guess first up, I'm gonna drain all the oil, which is probably mostly water, out of the crankcase, and uh, yeah, start putting new stuff on. Take the dipstick, and it's pretty much empty. So hopefully no one ran it that way, but it definitely saves me the hassle of trying to drain it all out. I know it has spark. I tested that before, just to, you know when I was ordering parts, just to see what else we needed. So I guess we'll start off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the carburetor with the one I know isn't all gummed up. Yeah, if I can get this going with the parts I bought, I spent maybe another 100, 150 bucks. Um, I call this a $300 barn find mini bike. So I actually legit got this out of some guy's barn. He had a small hobby farm with a whole bunch of stuff in back, and yeah. Made a new friend that day showing me his old Thunderbird and his other uh, random cool car things he had. Started bonding over Ford Rangers because he has probably the most pristine one I've ever seen in his driveway. Apparently 16,000 kilometers. He didn't show me the odometer or anything, but the shape of it, I tend to believe it. Same or model as mine. I have an 02. His was probably in the 08, 09, sort of on the newer end of them. Two wheel drive, empty cab, beauty of a truck. Great little things for hauling stuff around. I, for what I need, I don't really need the full size eight foot box most of the time. My Ranger fits the lawn tractor in the back, and a jerry can, and some tools. Which I don't think anyone needs any more than that. Can definitely get a you can get some eight foot plywood in there if you have the tailgate down but um yeah most of the time i'm not not hauling stuff of that size so yeah the lower ranges are pretty sweet Undo the fuel line. Come in there. <laughs> Better way to spend a Friday evening than hanging out in the garage with an old mini bike and some tools and anyone who wants to watch on YouTube, I suppose. That is 
there's one nasty looking carburetor there. We'll take a take a peek inside afterwards, but I'm just gonna go ahead and swap it out. <laughs> Get the same out of parts and stuff when I Get a new project or take something apart and definitely pays off. End up with a good spares box for when you you know wanna mess around with something on the weekend or try to put something back together with minimal costs. Yeah. Everything runs on used parts, right? I wonder if you can get rebuild kits for these little cards. If it's even worth it. Be nice to always have a couple, you know, spares. You never know when you're gonna get another, another sweet internet deal. Barn find. So I couldn't find just the recoil part, so I bought a whole kit. Happened to be on sale. Um, this thing turns out to run nicely. I might switch the whole assembly over for the black one nice and new looking compared to the red that's on there and uh yeah what the heck might as well make it look nice right but we gotta see if it runs first so okay well this kind of only goes on one way some threaded holes Mosquitoes in the garage. Canadian summers are nice, but they are buggy, I tell you what. Pretty much, I don't know, it's about probably 6.30, 7 p.m. now. Sun's getting ready to think about going down. It just gets unbearably buggy until about 10 p.m. Where I am, anyway. Usually not too bad indoors, but I had the door open for a while, shoveling, shuffling stuff around. Oh, cool. It's got compression, turns over. I know it has spark, I checked that before. So do we just put gas in it now and see? I think so. Mm, yeah. So let's see if this goes. I just put the cap back on. Safety eventually, you know. Um, yeah. On. Choke. On. Some something burning there. Smoky AF.
All right, that is that is a lot of oil burning off of there. Probably should have thought that through before starting it up, but I'll let this clear out and take a little break.